Tonight, we have learned the newly appointed acting director of the U.S. Secret Service was once a West Palm Beach police officer. Deputy Director Ronald Rowe was appointed to the top job after Kimberly Cheadle resigned yesterday. Director Cheadle was forced to resign because of growing calls for Congress to her to step down after the attempted assassination of Donald Trump days before he accepted the GOP nomination for president. Our investigative reporter Terry Parker looked into Rose's background, and Terry, I know you spoke with his former boss, Palm Beach County Sheriff Rick Bradshaw. Todd, I did get off the phone with the sheriff a couple of hours ago. I called him to see if he remembered his former officer, who is now leading the entire Secret Service in a very tense time. Rick Bradshaw says he talked to Roe on the phone after his appointment yesterday, and he will be an excellent director. Ronald Rowe was a West Palm Beach police officer in the late 1990s, and then Chief Rick Bradshaw promoted him to be supervisor of the tactical street teams. A few years later, Rowe joined the Secret Service. He worked for me when I was the police chief in West Palm. Uh, he was a supervisor on the tactical street teams. Excellent, excellent job he did. And one day he talked to me and he says, you know, I had an offer to go with the Secret Service to run some of their counterintelligence stuff. What do you think? And I said, I think you ought to take it. It's a great opportunity. Bradshaw says Roe is an excellent commander, and in his job in West Palm Beach, that required expertise in logistics and operations. Bradshaw says that will help Roe in unraveling what the former Secret Service director admitted was a colossal failure, protecting the Republican nominee Trump from an assassin's bullet. Roe has been with the Secret Service for 24 years and was the deputy director before being tapped with being acting director. He received a master's degree from Lynn University in Boca Raton.